people are loading buses in a couple of hours to travel to Washington for tomorrow's inauguration. Fox Eyes' Rob Malcolm has the story of a father and son making the journey for the special day. They have the shoes, shirts, and tuxes. Chet Y and his 15-year-old son, Malcolm, can't wait to get this party started. Very excited. I, I didn't think I would be as excited, and uh, it's, just, uh, it's just overwhelming. I went down to uh, D.C., and everyone's uh, just lit. Uh, I nev I've never seen so many families headed to one place. And I'm really excited. I flew out from Colorado, I'm missing some basketball for it, but <laughs> I'm excited. They'll share a bus ride to the nation's capital with 56 others, and Chet realizes the significance. He was eight years old for the March on Washington. Now 53, he heads back Tuesday with his 15-year-old son. I always um, had a reverence for people who were able to say that they were there, that they were there. They, that would always stop a show for me. And uh, now uh, we'll be able to say that about this event. They always tell us that you can be whatever you want to be, and this just proves it. We have a black man as president now, so that's good. Chet was a director of the Harlem for Obama campaign, and these tickets soon to be framed, a just reward for a day he thought would never come. I lived in a blessed time. For me, uh, I could never imagine uh, this happen, uh, happening. What's in a name? Everything when it comes to Obama. Tonight, this family will take a bus ride into history, and it's the stories they'll share that will last generations. In Harlem, Rob Malcolm, Fox 5 News. And we have a lot more tonight. Let's go back to Brenda Blackman live in Washington. Brenda.